Hi guys, this is Vinet. Today I'm gonna talk about the face lock loop. Today our aim is to find a practical capture and the lock range. Thus, this is the circuit diagram of face lock loop using IC565. The components required to perform this experiment are resistors, capacitors, IC565, signal generator, plus or minus 10 volt DC power supply. CRO, probes, breadboard, and connecting wires. There is a breadboard view of the phase locker loop. There is a plus or minus 10 volt DC power supply. There is a signal generator. There is an output waveform using DSO. And there is a 5C565, there is a potentiometer. There is a capacitors, there are connecting wires. Here we go. Uh, we have to connect the IC uh, capacitors. Our first capacitor is from first 1 to 9 pin of 0.01 microfarad and the second capacitor is from 10 to 7 here is a 10 uh, here is a 10 and here is 7 which is of 1 microfarad and another capacitor is from 8 to 7 uh, which is of 0.01 microfarad the third terminal will be grounded and the first terminal will be connected to the power supply. Sorry, first terminal will be connected to the minus VEE. And the second terminal is connected to the power supply. In a sense, a signal generator. And the fourth and fifth terminals are the fourth and the fifth. Uh, here, here is a fourth terminal, here is a fifth terminal, which are shorted and connected to the output. And here, 10 terminal will be connecting the plus 10 volt DC supply. There's a potential meter. There's an IC565. Uh, first, we have to recap the circuit without connecting the signal generator. Then, we have to find the output as a square wave. Then, we have to connect the signal generator at a terminal 2 and we have to set it to 1 kHz. After setting it to 1 kHz, we have to observe the output as 2.5 kHz. Now, we have to start increasing the output frequency very slowly. Uh, then, that's actually the output frequency when we connected to when, when we connected the DS4, uh, sorry, signal generator is a free running frequency. In a sense, the output is not proper. Then, uh, what we have to do is we have to start increasing the frequency very slowly. After some time, we'll find the capture. In a sense, output will be captured to the input. Then, output will be stopped. It, it's not a free running frequency. At that point, we have to note down the value uh, as a first capture one. Then, we have to increase it slowly till the capture got over. After capture got over, it, the frequency will be the free running frequency. That point is called a first lock. We have to note then the value as a FL1. Then we have to start decreasing the frequency. Uh, then we will find the first capture. Again, the same thing. The first capture as FC2. Sorry, second capture is FC2. And we have to slowly decrease the frequency. Then we will we'll get the last lock where at the last lock, the before last lock, the output is a square wave. After last lock, the output is a free running frequency. Yeah, that's all. We're done with this experiment. We'll find the, we'll already found out the uh, first capture, last capture, second cap, uh, second lock, and first lock. Oh, uh, here I give a procedure uh, for connecting this experiment. I told you before, decap the circuit as shown in the circuit diagram. Check the output at pin 4. This gives a free running frequency of the VCO without connecting the signal generator. Next to so that uh, frequency is 2.5 kHz and square wave as an output. Using signal generator, 1 kHz frequency to get 1 volt peak to peak signal. Apply at input pin 2. Connect the input to the channel 1 and output of VCO to the channel 2. Keep increasing the frequency. By increasing the frequency from 1 kHz, Take the frequency where the output matches the input. It's called a capture. It's called first capture. As the frequency is further increased, the output follows the input. Take the frequency where it stops to match. This is called a first lock. FL2. Set the frequency to the max. By decreasing the frequency, take the frequency where the output matches the input. The sec that is called second capture FC2. As the frequency is further decreased, the output follows the input. Take the frequency where it stops to match. This is called 
first log f l one. Uh, now the no values in this particular table. Uh, here, here we go. The application of the phase lock loop. The useful application of phase lock loop using 565i5ic uh, is a FSK demodulator. FSK means frequency shift keying demodulator. And the 565PLL has application as frequency multiplier and FM demodulator. Thanks for watching.